Hello everyone. In this video, you will learn volume of solid of revolution. When you revolve the area, you get a volume. So the method that you will learn today is called the method of this and also known as washer. Okay. Let's say you have a compact disc. One compact disc plus another compact disc plus another compact disc plus many 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 compact discs. The diameter of a CD is 120. From here at the top to the bottom 120. It means that the radius is 60 millimeter. Now we can draw the X axis through the CD. You have CD from 0 to 400. The diameter is 120, so the radius is 0 to 60. Your function or your curve is y equal to 60. We need to find the volume generated by this stack of CD. Consider one CD, this one. So this is our function y equal to 60. This is the x axis. So the height here is 60. The area is equal to this is a circle so pi times the radius 60 square this one is the radius area of one cd so the volume is equal to we add all the area from 0 to 400 because you have 400 cd so, 0 to 400 pi 60 square. Suppose that you have CD of different diameter size. So, if you try to draw the curve, you will have something like this. Let's say we name it y equal to fx. So let's say it start from A until B and this is your y equal to fx. So this is your x as this, this, this. The height of this one, this is your fx, this fx minus 0. This is line y equal to 0, y equal to fx. So, this height is equal to fx minus 0. Sometimes we don't write 0. It doesn't matter. So, the area now become pi area of the circle fx minus 0 square equal to pi fx square. So, the volume generated by this series is pi integration from A it's x equal to A to B and fx square dx. Find the volume of the solid that is obtained when the region under the curve y equal to set x over the interval 1 4 is revolved about the x axis. This is your y axis. This is your x axis. And this is your curve y equal to set x. 
from 1 to 4. So this is your 1 and this is 4. So you want to revolve this area about the x axis. It means that you rotate like this. So you will get a circle here. The center is the x axis. Now you want to add all circle. You have many many circle from here. One circle. This is another circle and so on. Until 4. So this is another circle. So to add all the area of the circle, we need to do integration. From 1 to 4. So your circle is from 1 to 4. This is a circle. The area of the circle is pi. Area is pi times the radius. Your radius is this one. This is your radius. Square. So the radius is this height. So you have set x minus 0. Set x minus 0 square. dx. So this is your volume. Equal to pi. 1 to 4. Set x square is x. dx. If you solve this, you will get the answer is 15 over 2 pi. Example 2. Find the volume of the solid that is obtained when the region between the graph fx equal to 1 over 2 plus x square and gx equal to x over the interval 0 to is revolved about the x axis. So now you have two circles. One is generated by 1 over 2 plus x square and the other one is generated by x. One small circle, one big circle. So the area that you are interested in is this one. It means that area of the big circle minus the area of the small circle. Let's say this is one of your function. This is another function. So let's say this one is fx equal to 1 over 2 plus x square. This one is gx equal to x. Okay. So what you need to do is the big circle, the area minus the small circle. So v is equal to pi. From 0 to 2, 0 to 2, you rotate like this. So this is your as as this. This is your rotation. And the big circle radius is 1 over 2 plus x square minus 0. 0 because as as this square minus gx x minus 0 square dx so you will get pi 0 2 if you expand this one you will get 1 over 4 plus x power 4 dx and when you solve this you will get 69 pi over 10 example 3 find the volume of the solid that is obtained when the region bounded by the graph x equal to y square and y is equal to x square is revolved about the x axis 
unlike example 1 and example 2 the interval is not given you need to find 1 by solving simultaneous equation of s equal to y square and y equal to x square x is equal to y square y is x square so this one is equal to x square square so x is equal to x power 4 please don't cancel out left and right what you need to do is to minus x here and minus x here so you get something like this equal to 0 so factor out x you have x cubed minus 1 equal to 0 so from here either x 0 or x cubed minus 1 is 0 to get this equation become true so x is equal to 1 this is power 3 so no plus minus because odd function if you have power 2 power 4 you need to add plus minus it means that the intersection point is 0 and 1 so now you already have the interval which is 0 to 1 you have two curves x equal to y square and y is equal to x square one is y is equal to x square the other one is x is equal to y square you need to change this so that you have y in front so y is equal to this one square plus minus third x so y is third x now you have the two curve remember big circle area of big circle minus area of small circle and then you integrate against x because it rotate about the x axis this one is set x and the other one is x square ok so now we can find the volume so the volume is equal to the integration and don't forget pi it is the area pi r square so pi integration from 0 to 1 from here this is 0 to 1 and then big circle set x minus 0 square minus small square x square minus 0 square dx in case you make a mistake you incorrectly assign this one as x square and this one as third x don't worry what you need to do is just to change this one because later on you will get negative and it should be wrong volume cannot be negative you just change which one minus which one it doesn't matter so if you solve this you will get 69 pi over 10 example 4 find the volume of the solid that is obtained when the region bounded by the graph y equal to x square and y equal to x cube is revolved about the line y equal to minus 1 so in this question 1 it revolves about the line y equal to minus 1 instead of the x as is number 2 no interval so number 2 is very easy to solve what you need to do is y is equal to x square y also equal to x cube so x square equal to x cube x cube remember you don't cancel out this but you need to minus x square both sides you get 0 
and you need to do factorization. Factor out x, you have x square minus 1 equal to 0. So, in order for this to become 0, x is 0 or x square minus 1 equal to 0. So, x is equal to, because you have square, it is going to be plus and minus 1. But we are interested in the positive region only. This one, the small circle. Another one is the big circle. Same thing. But now, instead of the x at this, you have y equal to minus 1. So you rotate like this. And you have the x at this somewhere here. Let's see. This is your x at this. Okay. Remember, you need the radius. You have a circle. This is your circle. The radius is from the center to the end. This is your radius. So, red, for the big circle, the radius is from y equal to minus 1 until here. Okay, this one is y equal to x square. So, this one is x square. So, x square is measured from the x axis to the x square. So, this is your x square. But not from here. But you need radius from here until to the curve x square. Okay, so this one is 1 because y minus 1. x to minus 1, the length is 1. Remember, we are talking about the length. So, there is no negative length, no negative area, no negative volume. It means that in here, the length is x square plus 1. So, now, your volume become pi from 0 to 1. 1 only. We need the positive one only. Okay. So, the big circle square minus the small circle square. So, the radius. This one is the radius. So the radius is x square plus 1. The same goes for the small circle, the blue color. So, it should be, this one is uh, x cube. So, x cube plus 1. I repeat again. This is your line y equal to minus 1. This is your x as this. So, the length here is 1. This is your axis. This length is 1. So, from x axis to the curve is fx. So, fx plus 1. That's why you do plus 1 here. And also the same goes for this one. If you solve this, you will get 47 over 210 